Yo, what's up? This is Ban Sharpa, a house music producer born in the Free State Butabelo and grew up in Tabancho but now based in Porto, Portugal. <laughs> I started my music journey when I was in grade 8, that was in 2012, uh, I could do my own version of a song using the virtual DJ pad editor that I got from my close relative. I remember making my own version of the Spirit Chaser song, This Tears, and the, the, the iconic Husa Madala by Beck Zinteris. Two years later, I got hold of the Fruity Loops. Uh, software then I started to explore the the software then I started making hip-hop beats because my friends were rappers at that time so I was not actually a good rapper so I was actually contributing towards the rap society the hip-hop society by making hip-hop beats so yeah I was doing what I was good at then after finishing high school I went to varsity University of the Free State, I was doing geoinformatics. Uh, then I began doing dance music. I feel like dance music was always a part of me because um, both my brothers, um, Theo and Lisho Nolo, were, de- were deep house junkies at that time. So I, I, I got the hip hop sound from school, then the house was always in at home was always at home so that's why i feel like the the house music was engraved into my soul because i was listening to it repetitively more than i was listening to hip-hop back at school um i met with the series how i met with the series team <laughs> um i came into europe up to further my studies this is a coincidence it's, it's quite crazy came into the europe to further my studies then kept on working on my craft, then released some songs to other labels. Later on, I sent a demo to Ceres Producers because it's, it's, a, it's a very no, big label, big label in Africa. Um, then the label manager liked the songs. Then I did not know that the label manager was based in Portugal. I thought he was based in Angola. Then I saw that they made an event in Lisboa. I was like, no, it's just here, let me just go. Then I went to Lisboa, then I met the label manager and the owner in their event called The Room System, a very good event. Then we began to have a good conversation together. Then eventually I started working with them and they kept on developing me and they're still developing me and I'm releasing more music with them. Currently, I'm going to release my very first album, my debut album, consisting of 14 songs. The album is titled Amasukwini. Amasukwini is a native Kosa clan which I relate to, which has a very strong Kwe ancestry. It has been said Amasukwini are fearless and strong individuals and artists at heart. I composed this album to honor where I come from as a Sukwini descendant. I have been working on this project for uh, quite some while now. I wanted to be patient with the project. Um, I was sending music back and forth to music gurus, my, my own sound, the new sound to music gurus to get feedback and explore more, more sound to improve the, the, the quality of my music. Yes, yeah, and I posted some snippets on my social media accounts to see how people react to the new style the new approach of how i made music not the old way i used to make music on this album i have worked with a duo from sonari bass was Siluski and warren deep very powerful duo and i've worked with zido my close friend which i grew up with i have known zido for for more than 10 years now and i worked with my colleague from service producers a KOD based in was was no no based in Zimbabwe sorry man and Black Pearls Virginia South Africa and I've worked with the label owner DJ Satellite oh not to forget I worked with the iconic Lungiswa Plaki from South Africa 
you might know her by the song of Unongal. Um, I aspire to achieve more with this album because a lot of hands have been put on this album. I would like to see it achieve great heights, maybe spin it across Europe or perform it in good festivals in the future. Although it is an African dance album, I have switched up the electronic vibe to accommodate the universe, the sound to be universal. The album is exclusively available on track source um, and you can pre-save it on Spotify. The official release date of the album is on the 20th of August. Be sure to get your copy and you won't regret it. Africa to the world. <laughs>